friends let us take a case of assignment problem and solve it through complete enumeration method this is an assignment problem where there are three workers a b and c and three jobs one two and three all the three workers can do all the three jobs but the time taken by them is different this is called assignment problem or size 3 3 by 3 so n is 3 if we use complete enumeration method first we have to check how many assignments or in how many ways the assignments are problem and the answer is n factorial So in six different ways we can assign three jobs to three workers if all the three workers can do all the three jobs. Let us make a list of these. First let us believe that first job is given to A, second is given to B and third is given to C. What will be the time 120 minutes by A plus 90 minutes by B and plus 120 minutes by C. So total time comes to 330 minutes. Let us believe that A is given first but B is given third and C is given second. The time taken will be 124A plus now B third. So 140 minutes and C second 110 minutes total time 370. Now let us believe that A is given second job, B is given first and C is given third. A is given second job 80 minutes plus B is given first 100 minutes plus C is given the third 120 minutes. The total time is 300 minutes. Again A is given second but B is third and C is first. A is given second 80 minutes plus B is given third so it will be 140 minutes C first it is 80 minutes so total 300. Now let us believe that A is assigned third job B first and C second A third 110 minutes plus B first 100 minutes and plus C second 110 minutes. So total will be 320 minutes. And the last sixth assignment possible is A third job, B second job and C first job. A third 110 minutes, B second 90 minutes and C third, sorry C first 80 minutes. The total time comes to 280 minutes. These are the six possible assignments if we need to assign three jobs to three workers. No worker is assigned more than one job and no job is assigned to more than two workers. Then these six are the possible assignments of the jobs and we can see that the last alternative has the lowest possible time. That means according to this complete enumeration method, it is advisable to assign job 3 to A, job 2 to B and job 1 to C so that we can complete all the three jobs in total 280 minutes. So this was the complete enumeration method. Thank you.